Kirsty Wark and I am a television journalist. I present Newsnight and I present The Review Show and I am also a writer. I think achievement is actually quite a complex thing um, because it's not just about what you appear to be doing in terms of you know there am I on the box it's about how th that process works what the kind of um, impact it has had on your life to get there family and so forth and so achievement is to get to a place where you think you're doing good work and be relatively at ease with yourself about the work you're doing I think the most difficult thing is if you achieve something but you don't actually enjoy what you've done and I think that's that, that, that can be a problem for people. For example, you know, a, a politician might uh, a, a get a law in the statute book, but some of the compromises he's had to make along the way, or she's had to make along the way, are very disappointing. And that is, that's one of the complexities of achievement. I'm not sure what the public would consider my great achievement to be. From, from my point of view, um, I think the, the greatest achievement, the greatest joy is to, to, to have had kids. I mean, I think that that has actually the most important thing by far for me um, and to be able to nurture them and get them into young adulthood frankly <laughs> that's a big achievement <laughs> uh, but I hope along the way them watching me sort of being able to balance a good career and home life I hope that has been a lesson for them I hope that they've taken from that that it is possible to pursue something you want to do and just to go for it so, you know, I think now in the recession, it's not just funnel them into something. It's, you have to do what you want to do because if you don't feel comfortable, you're going to have to change careers lots of times in your life. So you have to be equipped. And the way you get those skills is to do something you enjoy. On Newsnight, obviously, you have to, um, I think, be quite, you know, economical with your scripts. I don't think it's about your own emotions. Um, I hope that I present myself in a way that the most important thing is what I'm saying. You know, I'm trying to convey to the audience uh, a story of importance. And then in my interviews, I hope I'm trying to ask the questions that they want answered. To that extent, I see myself as a conduit. I don't, I'm not really part of that whole thing where, you know, it's, I mean, what I mean about this is, I prepare very carefully for news night. And that also means preparing what I'm wearing. But in order to kind of throw that side of it away, you get that side ready and then you concentrate on what you're going to be saying to the audience. And I want the audience to feel that they can come into Newsnight and be part of that conversation. That I want them to turn on to Newsnight at the end of the day and to be kind of informed about you know the nature of the stories that they've been hearing about during the day. Not the stories directly themselves, but actually what's behind those stories. To add on to those stories. So for example, to have a conversation around some of the big issues that arise from the stories for example, about women bishops. We take that story and we examine it and we shake it because that actually is a conversation that's going on outside the Church of England. It's about the nature of what happens in Britain. It's about the nature of the way we think about women. It's about women's rights. It's about equality. It's all these things. And that's what Newsnight does. Newsnight takes these things and shakes them and hopefully brings the best voices to the table at that time of night. I think when you are dealing with very, very difficult stories, we have a huge responsibility. And that responsibility is about restraint and that responsibility is about dignity for people involved in the story and not putting yourself in the way of the story. So if you're covering a tragedy, for example, I covered Lockerbie and I've covered Dunblane and way back I covered Piper Alpha, it's about less is more. I come from that economist school of journalism where you do not emote, you tell the story and then you stand back. I think, you know, when you have a recession, you know, it's a terribly insecure time and you worry about people around you as well and worry about their good, their well-being. Maybe as a society, you know, we will literally make do and mend more. You know, that we actually think two or three times before we spend on useless things. Um, that we'll actually reevaluate what's important. I'm not saying I'm not frivolous. I'm not saying I don't spend a lot of money on shoes. But I think that it, that it just makes us think, and actually it's not a bad thing. You know, when I think back to um, the way that our parents and our grandparents lived, you know, the instant gratification 
or being able to buy a pair of shoes online and get them the next morning. All that. I mean, that means that you need more and more and you need more and more of that to satisfy you, and I think that is a concern. I'm also somebody who's, I'm not religious, but for me, there has to be a day in the week that is different. There has to be a day in the week where you just get your head together and you do different things. And so Sunday is always a very special day for me. Uh, it's, a more, uh, it's a day of greater peace. It's a day where I try and do different things. It's a day where I always try and read. Um, and it's a day where I always try and have, there, see family. So I, I think, you know, we need to get back down to these things. We need to, we need to concern ourselves less with what we own and concern ourselves more about the relationships we have.